Alright guys, welcome back to another video on the Project Star Killer build series. If you're not subscribed, you need to because we're doing one video every week until the bike is done. Today, Antoine's putting on the AIM MX... MXK10. MXK10. Basically the <laughs> MXS, but specifically for the ZX10. So I think the K10 is Cali 10. So yeah, we're doing that and I'm gonna let him take over. <laughs> They also have this one just for the Gen 5, and they just recently came out with a version for the Gen 4s. And I also have a Data Hub expansion. So later down the line, when we do the full exhaust system, I can hook up the air fuel sensor and collect the data through the dash. Shouldn't be too much. We've got everything still broken apart from last episode. So we're just going to pick up from there. All right, so we got the bracket off from last episode. To take the dash out of the bracket, it's just three screws. The AIM dash has its own screws, so we won't reuse these. It's a matter of removing these screws, hooking the AIM dash in with its three screws, and then we'll run our cables and everything to get everything hooked up. The main harness that plugs into the dash. It's direct plug and play from the aim, so we're just gonna plug it right back in once we put the aim mounted up. Cool thing about this one is I don't have to modify the bracket to mount this one like I did with Star Lane. Is this one like meant for Kawasaki? Yeah, I think they tailored this one just to, and even to the point where if you have the SE, the electronic suspension can be controlled That's cool. through the AIM dash. There it is, OEM dash. You usually have to program the aftermarket dashes to put the mileage in, so if you want your accurate mileage, Look at your mileage before you take it apart. Otherwise, you'd have to hook everything back up in order to read it. There's that. Good call out, Josh. Mm -hmm. So I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we'll start off opening up the data hub. The AIM dash comes with the GPS module and it plugs directly into the dash itself. It doesn't give you any more options to connect anything else at that point. So if you want to add any of the accessories you can add to this, especially if you're doing a track bike, you have to get a data hub and if you go even further there is a channel expansion module for like brake brake pressure you can read that and your suspension travel you can keep track of that with that accessory we're not going that deep all i'm adding is the gps to take up one port and the air fuel reader to take up another port okay. so not much to this And I'm probably going to put this near the battery and run the cable up. So it tells you the channel numbers. One, two, three, four. There's that. We'll come back to that part. And we got our dash. Fun fact, we actually installed this on my old bike to test it out in the video we rode with Jerry. Because I didn't have the OEM dash for silk. And of course you get stickers. Connections. Get on Christmas. The GPS module. And the mountain hardware. And how we know this is made just for Cowie. This is the mounting bracket for the GPS, and it actually bolts directly to the bottom of the triple clamp. And you'll right see that here. once we go and install it. Yep. Right. 
it is. Mount it to the bracket. Alright, so just like we took it off, I might back up. GPS mount. Actually, just slide it over the cable. Slide it through like so. I'm gonna put the washer on the bottom, and then this just mounts up. Did this spot have screws in it before or would they just open holes? Nope, just open holes. Almost like they anticipated putting something here. All right, so we've run into an issue with the install. While the data hub cable is probably four feet long, the GPS cable is only about two feet long. So where I was gonna originally put the hub under the seat, I now have to find somewhere to put it under the gas tank for the GPS cable to reach because that's as much length as I got right there. So we've got to pull the tank up and figure out how we're going to mount this. So once we figure that out, then we'll show you guys what we did. I can't remember this went over or under. <laughs> Do you want me to review the footage? I really don't think it don't matter. I know the pump was in the way here, so it couldn't have been. We'll put it under. Okay. the cable for the GPS coming with the dash is only set to reach that short distance like about a foot and a half two feet maybe and then the data hub has a four foot cable or whatever trying to find a decent place to put the data hub the GPS cable isn't long enough to give you too many options it's not much to do underneath the tank because of the air box and the length of the cable so what we're going to do for now is I'm going to mount it to the inside of the right hand side or throttle hand side of the fairing mount everything up there and buy an extension cable so we can relocate everything underneath the seat if necessary or if the sensor for the exhaust isn't long enough to reach the side bearing we'll have the extension cable for that so getting the extension cable will give us a couple of options so if you're doing this order the extension cable other than that we're gonna make it work with what we got for right now and then order the cable which they're saying it might not ship till july 20th no rush for us right now it doesn't mean anything for these people yeah yeah you're watching it. we're already got it mike put together and everything yeah. like that yeah they don't know what today's date is <laughs> yeah all right so yeah order an extension it is a five pin cable i don't know the exact name of it i'll look at it again Get that info yeah so for now we're just gonna mount everything on the inside of the throttle hand side fairing to make it work for now and just put it just one of the mountain screws right here and just have it either laid across there or laid across there Should we put 
plug everything back up. So we ran into the issue where the cables weren't long enough to mount the hub hub extension for the dash. So I now have the extension cables. So we're gonna continue that install. Gonna get the AFR reader, the L2 sensor, whatever, installed on the exhaust and then get everything cabled up. And then that way the dash will log uh, the air fuel ratios in the data logger. got the controller for the air fuel reader. We'll connect this end to the data hub I got attached to the fairing, to the battery power, and then the connection for the air fuel reader. So we're just gonna install this and then route the cables. This light will come on if it's got power. Yeah. Good to go. All right, everybody. So we got the air fuel reader installed, dash installed. So all in all, front to back, AIM dash, the MKX-10 as GPS module. We added the air fuel reader. That's installed and done. Had to get the hub in order to connect everything together. We had to get an extension cable in order to route all the cables cleanly because the GPS cable is too short to have it mounted up front and the air fuel sensor back here. So we had to buy a short extension just to close the gap. I could have probably shipped some stuff around, but it probably wouldn't have been as 
clean with the mountain. But yeah, so if you change your location, if you push this further back, then you'll definitely need the extension. If you try to tuck everything under the tank, then you may be all right. I didn't want to try to squeeze anything else beneath the tank. So yeah, with this setup, it doesn't actually display the air fuel value on the dash itself. It's more of a data log type situation. So um, I had to play around with the software and, and figure that part of it out. But other than that, it's installed, it's good to go. All right, that does it for this video. See y'all in the next one. So let's unbox. Oh, the unboxing. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta make this look good. All right, so how you wanna set this up? I don't know. <laughs> of course, this is not gonna come off smooth because I'm trying to take it off on camera. Yep, to make unboxings look great. Great. I haven't eaten today. <laughs> It's a tight, tight fit. Wow, fantastic. You're doing great. Oh my god. You're rolling? Rolling. You're rolling. Ready for the peel. You're ready for the peel now, sir. The peel. Yeah, float your boat, man. Mm. Float your boat. That was a fail. Yeah, we suck. Alright, so we're back with the aim dash. Well, hold on, because they don't know that we left. We're literally cutting this in. So. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yep. Recording. Yep. We're live. Yep. Damn, what she talking about, Josh? Now. Somebody just died upstairs. You actually see it? Yep, I'm looking dead at it. I just saw it like here, but I don't. <laughs> I like instantly lost it. Oh, oh, right here, right here. <laughs> this is. Like, it's like the most impossible thing, but it did it. <sighs> All right, cool, I'm still recording. <laughs> and there is Apex. <laughs> Jumping in and recording. I'll just go. Get out! <laughs> <laughs> if they are so loud right now, it's ridiculous. All that thumping and thudding y'all hear is my kids and Darius' kids running around upstairs. You sounded like you were gonna say something else and then you were just like, <laughs> Nah, that's, that's good. I don't know what else.